Now, here's Storm Team 10 meteorologist Chris Cozart. 12 minutes past that noon hour, not a cloud in the sky. Absolutely perfect weather. Now I did start off a little cold this morning, but we're comfortably mild at your lunch break as we look at our Sky 10 camera network. Not nearly as breezy as yesterday. American flag eh, coming up a little bit there at Johnson Street, but definitely not too bad. And the flags there at Evangeline Downs are pretty light winds there, and you can see all the blue skies draping Evangeline Downs and Opelousas as we sit here at 65 degrees. Just a light easterly wind there in northern Acadiana. Mild and sunny for the rest of the day. Turning chilly once that sun sets. Cold again tonight. Not as cold as this morning. We started at about 42 to 43 and much of Acadiana this morning. We'll go down to about 47, which again is still pretty cold. It's just not as cold as this morning. Storm Team 10 radar remains quiet as can be. There's not a cloud to show up, so we're not going to get any rainfall there. And the weather pattern over the next five to seven days still looks fairly quiet. Quiet. Models want to bring in a stronger cold front next Thursday that may give us some scattered rain chances and we'll take whatever we can get at this point. Mid to upper 60s all across Acadia. We're not feeling any humidity and the winds have definitely lightened up since yesterday. Coming out of the northeast at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Our bower is taking us to 72. I think we're going to go a touch warmer than that. 73 to 74, which is still below average for this time of year. Notice when that sun starts to set here 6 to 7 o'clock, the temperatures then drop pretty quickly once again with clear skies and lighter winds. So if you're heading to Rhythms on the River, which has had fantastic weather ever since it started about four weeks ago, we're going to be cool to chilly. You definitely want to think about bringing that jacket with you tonight to River Ranch. 73 there at 530 and then mid 60s as we're wrapping up there this evening. Very chilly tonight as it's going to be a cold start again tomorrow morning. Winds will be pretty light. We actually had a wind chill this morning. High pressure really keeping everything quiet. You have sinking air and high pressure. You don't have the rising air, so that's why you don't see any cloud coverage because there's no moisture going up and condensing in the colder area areas of the uh, layers of the atmosphere. As we look out in the tropics, all good news here. That one area that actually looked like it had a decent chance of becoming a depression or Nadine, that formation chance has really dropped off of the last uh, really 48 to 72 hours there. Still heading towards the Caribbean. Then we have those other showers and storms near Central America. That strong cold front went all the way down below Miami, so it's protecting us here in the Gulf, keeping any tropical issues away from us. And if we make it through the next couple weeks, which no reason we shouldn't, uh, I think we can pretty much put tropical issues and tropical threats to bed here for us here in Louisiana. Mid 70s for the rest of the day. Beautiful afternoon, comfortably milder here mid 40s tonight. That's still going to be pretty cold and then mid to upper 70s for tomorrow. So warmer weather starts to slowly build in. Seasonally warm, quiet weather over the weekend. Modar is pretty much stuck in that mo mode right now. There is not much going on to really change that. As you see, 82 over the weekend, a little bit milder, but still cool at night over the weekend. And then 83 to 85 here, hot and more humid as we start to get those temperatures into the mid 80s, which is going to be a little bit above where they should be, but overall not getting out of control. And again, some models already bringing in the next cold front next Thursday, which actually could give us some scattered rain chance with that, and we'll take it because uh, everything's quiet. I know quiet weather's good for outdoor activities, but, you know, we had a red flag warning yesterday. We're going to be very concerned about drought conditions and fire weather issues if we don't get some beneficial rain sooner. All right. Well, it's it's chilly, so it's that, nice. That, yeah, that, the, the it's weather. Hey, I'm not complaining about the weather too much. No. We just need rain. A little bit of water would help that us. That would help out. All right. <laughs> we'll be back more. Uh, meet your neighbor coming up. Download the KLFY News 10 weather app. Stay connected today.